I love the term that the quote um, by Bill Gates about uh, it, basically people cannot imagine what if they just did what well that one about you know they can see what they can do in twelve months but they can't see what they can do in in ten years yeah. and it's a bit like compounding interest oh yeah okay <laughs> so um been reading a book the psychology of money uh by gary i think it's uh, gary housel um i'll get that i'll just get his name right by morgan housel sorry um now this is very interesting because you actually are dealing with the tension between money and life so again it's the psychology of money you that's that really is. what you're dealing with uh, and i won't get a bit more into that later but um and we talked about intention too, and some other books that have really impressed me are, for example, The One Thing by Keller. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we live in a world of crazy, manic productivity, right? We've got all these people around the world and all these experts telling us how to live this incredibly productive life that looks horrifying, frankly. Um, I think, and there's another term that's brought up recently called um, by... Uh, the guy that wrote the one, uh, Cal Newport, he's talking about um, deep, deep, uh, living a deep life. In other words, we all seem to get back to just living a slow, productive life, but that's live with intentionality. In other words, mm -hmm. if you do just one key thing every day, one key thing, that means in one year you've done 365 key things. Then if you times that by 10, you've done 3,650 things in 10 years. This is compounding interest of life. So same with money. People trade, and, and you've done this, you've been trader, you've gone in and out of markets. Reality, tell me if this is right or wrong, is that actually index funds actually outperform the day traders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they generally do. And it's because they, they just, they get to benefit of the, I call it the eighth wonder of world, which is compound interest. Exactly, and yeah. The, the system is rigged in your favor if you play to it, but most people don't. No, they they don't. don't realize that this is why people, wealthy people get wealthier is because they literally know the rules of the game. That's the only difference. Yeah. And they play it. And the system is set up them for them to have success. Yeah. You just got to participate. You just yeah. got to play in it. That's, yeah. that's the hardest thing. Yeah.